Tourniquets, they're not just for battlefield medics and action movies. These bad boys stop blood flow, save lives, and possibly make your arm feel like it belongs to someone else. But here's what I'm wondering. If you cut off circulation with a tourniquet, does getting hit hurt less? Does it affect the damage I take? Or does it just hurt differently? whatever differently is. To find out, I'm tourniqueting one arm, one leg, leaving the others normal and taking hits to all of them. Because science, curiosity, and questionable decision-making. And remember, don't try this at home unless you enjoy making poor life choices professionally. Experiments. Here's how it's gonna work. I got three different pain and damage options today. First one's gonna be whipping. The second's going to be a tactical war hammer, so more of a blunt pain. And then last, but certainly not least, projectile pain with rubber paintballs. Now, as you can see, I already have my arm tourniqueted and it's kind of hulking out right now. A little bit. Yeah, it's definitely. Kind of, it looks purple. It's purple. It doesn't yeah. look good. Yeah. You do a handshake. Oh, it feels so cold. That works, the electricity works. That was a fun little extra test. All right, let's <laughs> put it away. God, I knew you were going in there to get something. I was like, I saw you run over there. And I was like, there's no way he's getting a taser. That was before the intro. God, I... you can definitely see a difference. <laughs> My hand and arm kind of feels numb. You're gonna turn into Very Thanos. purple. Ooh. Now, typically, Mark, Tourniquets are used for when you have a severe injury where you need to stop bleeding. Yes. My thought process is that if I'm cutting off the blood, I should feel less pain when I get hit. That makes sense. But will the injury look different? Will more blood be? Should be less blood rushing Should be less it. blood, so less bruising? Only one way to find out. We're gonna start with whips to my arms and we'll go from there. Up first is the cattle whip to my untourniqueted arm. Control test, really. 100%? 100%. That was my elbow, you dumb Yeah, uh, you know, he's... We gotta do it again! <laughs> That's not where I wanted it! And my other arm, look at it, it's... Oh my god, okay. Uh, you said the arm. Yeah, well, arm, but up a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, above the elbow. <sighs> you just got a tiny tricep. Okay, do, do, do a cross here. Oh. Yeah, I should have pointed. Yeah. That's my bad. Yeah, right there. 100, take two. Oh, that was a clean. That was clean. <laughs> It's my back. <laughs> it did. Okay. Wrapped around. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Your other arm looks pretty ready. Oh yeah, it's been ready. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I've cut the blood off for a little bit too long over here. It looks concerning. Yeah. So we should probably hit it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh my God. Okay. It. I can feel that, <laughs> and it actually stings for some reason. I prepared myself mentally for this. Andro. That stung worse. <laughs> that stung worse. Oh my God, what the? Oh, oh it's turning weird colors. Oh, take it off. Take it, oh. take it off. You were tightening it. Take it off. Oh. Uh, oh. Your blood looks black. <laughs> your arm is messed up, dude. My, ah! <laughs> God, well, I can tell you one <laughs> thing. It doesn't help with the pain at all. It, it hurts. It an, all hurts. That was an intrusive thought. I'm sorry. That just looks so, so dark. It looks dead. It's coming back to life. Wow. Well, so far my theory's been proven wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because your blood's losing oxygen and it turns darker. Yeah, there, we might be onto something. I think that's why it's darker. Let's go with that. I'm not, even though you ripped the skin off right there, it's not like gushing blood. Yeah, that's a good point. So it's at least stopping blood from leaking everywhere. I just can't stop looking at it. Oh, oh, now that the blood's coming back in, my hand's getting all like the pins and needles. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. What's the longest you can put a tourniquet on for? Before you lose your arm? Yeah, did I don't you look know. that up? I thought about it, but that's about where it stopped. Well, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah. It's it's coming back alive. I'm just uh, kind of surprised it didn't stop the pain feeling because that hurt really bad. Maybe it'll help with the bluntness. Maybe it's the pain type. Yeah. There we go. So let's move to my leg. We're gonna do blunt and projectile pain on that. That, and we'll see how we feel. Hopefully better. Hopefully. Oh, that does not feel well. So I got the tourniquet on my right leg currently and it's pretty tight and it doesn't feel good. Do you think it puts more pressure on your heart? We've been over this, Mark. My heart's like super strong, so it doesn't matter. Hopefully it's not super big. Well, it is large. That's not good. That's not. But it's large in the sense that it makes it more powerful. It adds to the longevity of it. 
the larger the heart, more likely you're gonna die. Well, you're thinking with conventional logic, but you, you, if you think about my heart, it's so large that it's stronger. It's gotta support your muscles, that makes exactly. sense. Exactly. Yeah, that's fair, uh -huh. that's fair. It's got a lot of blood to pump. Well, let's get our control test done on this side, huh? Blunt one first. Yeah. Untourniqueted leg, tactical warhammer at 75% power. 75. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> 75. Ugh. I don't know why I asked for that. That's I don't know. Uh, for this one. Oh my God, yeah, that felt like, like, like a lot. It felt a lot. I gotta work on my grip, I almost lost it Oh again. my God, okay. <laughs> so yeah, so we have some leakage uh, perhaps happening. Now I suspect it won't leak as much on this side when we hit it. Yeah, there'll be no blood. Yeah, that that would be ideal for me, I think. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I brought your leg back. The tourniquet's so tight, it's hurting my leg. Hey, squishing everything together. What if you put it around your waist? Squish all your organs together? That's called a corset. That is a corset. <laughs> <laughs> so after sitting upside down for a little bit, uh, Seems like we got the blood drained more. Some fresh uh, burns that we've done recently, they appear more purple right now. All right, so Warhammer 75% onto the tourniqueted thigh. What if you put two tourniquets on? That just seems reckless. I'm about safety. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even flex it. Aiming for the guy. Ah! It definitely doesn't help with the pain. I'm dripping. Oh, it's so dark. It's very, very viscous and dark. Okay, let's just keep it rolling. Uh, give me the, we're going on to paintball. Oh my God. Oh, the <laughs> I got a hypothetical for you. Okay, hit me. Would you rather get shot with a thousand of these or quit nicotine for a month? A thousand of those. <laughs> okay. Last up is projectiles. Paintball gun, turn up to the max with rubber paintballs. Let's see what happens. You want a double tap? Yeah, give me a double tap. Pretty close. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. Why is that one so more, much more bleedy? Well, I don't know if we could cut off the blood as well as we could with my arm. Yeah. I feel like I hit you the same. It's pretty gnarly looking though. Yeah. Do the same on the tourniquet side. Uh, and then let's uh, compare everything. Pa, pa. Oh, okay, the second one, uh, it, it lingered. Okay. That one's, you know, making blood. What the hell? Interesting data. All right, let my leg breathe. Need some help? Yeah, look around my groin area. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Okay. Whew. Okay, my thoughts have been formulated. Uh huh. Doesn't help with the <laughs> for the pain, not a single thing. I feel all of it the same. I guess the only differences would be where you, exactly you hit me. Mm -hmm. That would be the only difference there. For the arm, at least, it seemed like it stopped the blood flow from immediately happening. Yeah. Uh, not as much on my leg, and I feel like that could be because- Your arm was a lot more purple. We had a hard time cutting off the blood flow, right? Yeah. Bigger thing to cut off blood flow to. Before we inspect all my damage, though, it's your turn, Mark. What do you want? Uh. I feel like this is the most controlled. Uh, so, you know, one on each side. On your arm? Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, well, I gotta take off my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Mark contributing to the cause here. He's gonna get shot with paintballs in his calves. As you can see, we have tourniqueted this side, not that side. Yep. One paintball to each. Just one. Just one. Ooh. It's tight. <laughs> yeah, we'll let this sit for like 10 minutes. We'll let it faster a little bit. You want to get the other one out of the way? Yeah, might as well, you know. Oh, okay. I want to recover, so. I swear I won't miss. Stand on the box. <laughs> <laughs> a little hard. There we go. Oh, safety's <laughs> on. <laughs> He's a little wobbly. He's a little wobbly. <laughs> Yeah, it took a little skin off for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So expect that to hurt just as much on the other side. Nope. So I want it to be. You would like it to be less, right? I would like it to be less. That's what I hoped for, but. I want my leg to be nice and purple. Come on. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you should maybe do the other leg first. <laughs> There you go. Now, uh, there it is. I'm gonna try not to hit the scar. If I hit the scar, we might have to do it again. Ready when you are, Jake. Oh, <laughs> I hit the scar. <laughs> There's so much worse. <laughs> yeah, isn't it bad? 
Why'd you? Ah, oh, jeez. I nicked the scar. Was it the? That was a little bit, but that hurt way more. All right. That was way more instant. Before we take this off, can you pull up your other pant leg? Let's take a quick look at these here. This one has been festering for some minutes. I'm. T I think that one might look worse. Yeah, the right one feels worse. Looks worse. Go ahead, take her off. Let's review some data. Starting with my arm, the untourniqueted side. Honestly, doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it really doesn't. Even the first hit. Yeah, the first hit there. A little dud. Not bad. I think it'll bruise. Yeah. Um, I'm curious about the bruising. This one in particular, at least immediately after the hit, looks way worse. Yeah. And it's just so much more purple across the board. You did hit me in a little bit different spot. Got more of the whip on it, but yeah. that just looks so bad after you did it. It does. It really does. Not what I was hoping. Moving to my legs. Tactical Warhammer. You definitely spiked me pretty good. No Not bleeding. nearly as bad as this side. This one just started leaking oh. immediately. I guess maybe that could be a variance on where you hit me. Maybe you hit like a blood vessel or vein. So maybe the tourniquet helped there a little bit. More pressure, maybe, you know? Squeeze out while it was in my leg. I don't know. Then we went to rubber paintballs. Yeah, yeah. This side looks way worse. Boop. It's my best friend. I regret getting those. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this side does look way worse. Way darker like injuries. I'm more interested in seeing how the bruising forms. Oh, every time, <laughs> every time he moves, I... <laughs> can you just put that over there? Yeah. I'm more interested in seeing how the bruising forms on either side of my body, if it's worse on the tourniquet side or worse on the untourniqueted side. Maybe it was worse on this side. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check back in a couple of days. Every week. <laughs> <Disarm! laughs> it's time for the tourniquet experiment data review. Three days after the experiment, I had light bruising on the spots I got hit or shot without a tourniquet, but the areas with a tourniquet had significantly worse bruising. Mark, on the other hand, ended up with pretty similar injuries on both calves, which makes things even more interesting. So what's going on here? Well, it turns out that cutting off blood flow with a tourniquet might actually increase the amount of damage you take. With circulation blocked, blood can pool and internal pressure rises, making bruising worse. Plus, without oxygenated blood flowing, the tissue becomes more fragile, and the impact can hit harder without that natural blood cushion. As for pain, turns out tourniquets don't help much there either. Honestly, these results were the opposite of what I expected, and I'm really curious to hear what you think down in the comments. And if you want even more behind the scenes madness, check out my YouTube memberships or Patreon. Links are below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you watch the time I found out what hurts most on an open wound. That one was rough and full of surprises.